my friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode in my WW Air Fryer series. I have two absolutely fantastic recipes to share with you today that are not only air fried, but they are also extremely WW friendly and most important, they are delicious. So if you wanna see the two air fryer recipes that I have in store for you, then all you have to do is stay tuned. For tonight's air fryer dinner, we are going to be making air fryer taco egg rolls. How amazing does that sound? The beauty of egg rolls with a touch of taco, yum. So let me show you what is in our egg rolls. So first you're going to need some oil of your choice. I'm just gonna use this Chosen Foods avocado oil. You'll need some taco seasoning, minced garlic, salt and pepper, Rotel, this is actually the cilantro and lime Rotel. Non-fat refried beans. I'm going to use dried cilantro because that's what I have on hand. You can also use fresh. Minced onion or fresh onion, whatever your preference is. You'll of course need some egg roll wrappers. 96.4 extra lean ground beef. Frozen corn and cheese, I'm just gonna be using fat-free cheddar cheese. So let's get started on our air fryer taco egg rolls. The first thing that you're going to do is heat up a non-stick skillet, spray it with some non-stick cooking spray. You're gonna go ahead and add in your ground beef. Now if you're using fresh onion versus minced, you would want to cook your onion down first. But since I'm using minced, I'm just going to add it directly to my ground beef. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in my minced onion equivalent of one onion. And then I'm also going to add in one big scoop of my minced garlic. And we're gonna go ahead and cook down our ground beef until it is browned. Once your hamburger begins to brown, you're gonna go ahead and add in some taco seasoning. The recipe calls for about a half of a package. So I'm just gonna put in a little bit of my taco seasoning. You're also going to add in some pepper and also some salt. And we're just gonna let our hamburger continue to brown. When your hamburger has browned, we're gonna go ahead and add in one half of a cup of frozen corn. We're also going to add in our can of the cilantro lime rotel. And then we're also going to add in our non-fat refried beans. The recipe calls for half of a can. So you're gonna to wanna to put in about half your can of your beans. Maybe, there we go. And then you can just save the other side for another dish. You could even add the whole can if you want because they are zero smart points. And we're just gonna let this all warm through and let those flavors melt. To assemble your egg rolls, you're gonna go ahead and take one of your egg roll wrappers and we are going to add our egg roll mixture to the middle. Now you don't wanna overfill your egg rolls because you want them to form that nice, perfectly shaped egg roll. We're also going to add a little bit of our fat-free cheese on top of our egg roll mixture. And then to fold your egg roll, the best way to do it is to fold it over diagonally to form a triangle. And you kinda wanna squish your filling towards the center of your egg roll. So just kind of squish it all towards the center. And then you're gonna take the two side triangles and roll those in. And then you're going to seal it closed with the other half of the triangle. So this is what the underside of your egg roll is going to look like. We're gonna brush that with just a little bit of water. And then there is your egg roll. We'll spray these all with some olive oil spray before they go into the air fryer. So let's get all of our egg rolls assembled and ready to go. bird on a tree I'm just sitting here Look at these egg rolls. These look delicious. My recipe made 16 egg rolls. So what we're gonna do next before these go into the air fryer is we're gonna go ahead and spray them with just some nonstick cooking spray. That's going to help them brown up really nice in the air fryer. Also helps everything kind of stick together. 
and not stick to your air fryer's tray like mine or if you're using the basket it just kind of helps it not stick to the basket as well so we're ready to pop these into the air fryer so our air egg rolls are in our air fryer and ready to go so we're going to go ahead and shut our air fryer we want to put these at about 400 degrees and we're going to let them go for about 15 minutes i am going to be checking them throughout the cooking process and turn on my light here and i'm also going to be flipping the trays rotating them so that each layer on the air fryer gets nice and crispy and in the meantime i'm going to get a veggie ready and i'll show you our completed egg rolls so I just pulled our egg rolls out of the oven. These look so good. We're just gonna go ahead and sprinkle on just a little bit of cilantro on top of our egg rolls just to give that little extra bit of Mexican flair. I'm gonna go ahead and plate these up with some veggies. You can pair these with some sour cream or whatever you have on hand, but these look absolutely delicious. So let me get these plated up and then I will give you the smart points. So here is tonight's dinner. So I'm having some broccoli with some spray butter, salt and pepper for zero. And then I'm having two of the taco egg rolls. Each egg roll is a total of three smart points. So not bad at all. So I'm having two. So this dinner here is a total of six smart points. For tonight's air fryer dinner, we are going to be having Mongolian beef. I don't know why this sounds amazing. Kind of a cross between that Japanese, Chinese, really excited for tonight's dinner. We're just gonna pair that with some rice. So let me show you first what's in the Mongolian beef. So you're going to need some steak. I'm gonna go ahead and do petite sirloin. I grabbed two steaks, I'll trim all the visible fat. That should be plenty for the recipe. You're going to need some water. The recipe calls for green beans. I don't have any, so I'm gonna substitute peas, and this is just about a quarter of the bag. You're gonna need some avocado oil, light soy sauce, minced garlic, brown sugar alternative of your choice, some green onions, cornstarch, and ginger, and then we're just gonna pair that with some jasmine rice. So let's get started on our Mongolian beef. So the first thing we need to do for our Mongolian beef is we're gonna chop up some green onions to top our dinner, and then we're going to remove the fat from our steak and slice it into thin slices that will be going directly into the air fryer. Once you've cut your steak into strips, go ahead and take one quarter cup of cornstarch. I'm gonna go ahead and add it to a Ziploc bag. And then I'm going to put my steak pieces into the bag as well. And we're gonna give it a quick stir or shake. We wanna make sure that all of our steak pieces have been coated in the cornstarch. And then we're ready to get our steak into the air fryer. This is plenty of cornstarch for the steak that I have. We'll actually probably have a little bit left over in the bag, but just make sure that all your steak pieces, that they get nice and coated. Next, you're gonna grab your air fryer sheet or whatever kind of air fryer you have, and you're gonna put your steak strips either in your air fryer basket or on your cooking sheet like my air fryer here. And we're just gonna lay these all out, and then these are ready to go in to the air fryer. And while these are cooking up, we're gonna get our rice just started on the stove. Normally I cook my rice in my instant pot, but I think for just ease for tonight, uh, instead of having both appliances out, I'll go ahead and cook my rice directly onto the stove. And then we also need to make up our sauce for our Mongolian beef. But this is already getting me really excited for tonight's dinner. So I've got my steak here in my air fryer. So we are going to go ahead and put this at 390 and we're gonna let this cook for about nine minutes. We're gonna check it. We may have to add some additional time on, but our steak is gonna be cooking away. And in the meantime, let's get our rice going and get our sauce started. I've got my rice started here. One cup of rice, two cups of water, a little bit of salt. We're just gonna get this brought to a boil, reduce the heat pop on our lid and our rice will be done perfectly in about 15 minutes 
Now we're gonna put together our sauce. Excuse my air fryer noise here in the background. So for our sauce, we have two tablespoons of oil. The recipe calls for vegetable oil. I didn't have that. So I went ahead and used my avocado oil. We're also going to need one half of a teaspoon of ground ginger, one tablespoon of minced garlic. Get all that garlic, yum, out of our little bowl here. And then we're going to need one half of a cup of light soy sauce and one half of a cup of water. And lastly, three quarters of a cup of packed brown sugar. So mine is the sucrin, of course. And then we're just gonna mix this together. Oh, yum, this looks delicious. And we're just gonna set this aside and then we'll get ready to warm this up in a saucepan as soon as our steak gets about halfway done. We're gonna cook down the, our sauce, but doesn't that look delish? Our rice has come to a boil, so I've reduced the heat, put the lid on. I've went ahead and added my sauce to another pan. It is on medium high heat. We're just gonna cook this until it combines, the sugar melts, it starts to thicken. And then we're actually gonna add our steak to this when it comes out of the air fryer. So let's get our sauce cooked and finish up our rice. And it should be perfect timing for our Mongolian beef. I just pulled the beef out of the air fryer. It looks delicious. So we're gonna go ahead and transfer this into the same pan as our sauce. So I'm gonna bring the pan over. I'll show you guys that. And then it just needs to sit in the sauce for five to 10 minutes so it can really absorb the flavors. This looks phenomenal. All right, so there's our sauce. We're just gonna use some tongs here and we're just gonna go ahead and pull our steak off and toss it into the sauce. And again, we're just gonna let it sit in the sauce for a good five to 10 minutes. And then we're just gonna add our peas right before we're ready to serve them. We just wanna make sure that our peas are cooked and warm, that they're not still cold. So I'm gonna get all the meat into the sauce and I'll be back in about five to 10 minutes. Well, five to 10 seconds for you. So here is our completed Mongolian beef, you guys. This tastes amazing. I tried a little piece of the meat. So good. So what I have here is half of a cup of jasmine rice for three smart points. And then I have one sixth of the Mongolian beef. One sixth is only four smart points. So not bad for all of this deliciousness. I put a little sauce on my rice, topped it with some green onions and some sesame seeds. So again, this entire dinner is three for the rice, four for the Mongolian beef, only seven smart points. Thank you for joining me in another episode of my WW Air Fryer series. Now, if you're on the fence about getting an air fryer, I highly recommend it. It is one of the staple small appliances in my household, that in my Instant Pot. I use them several times a week, and there are so many amazing recipes that are WW and non-WW friendly that you can do a little few tweaks and make them fit into your program. So I highly recommend getting an air fryer. Mine is the power of an elite. It is linked down in my Amazon store below. So thank you so much for joining me in another episode of two delicious WW air fryer recipes. If you're new to my channel, I'd love it if you take a moment, hit that little red subscribe button and that bell that way you'll get notified every time that I upload a new video. You don't want to miss out. Give this one a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what recipe are you most excited to try. And if you don't have an air fryer, are you going to plan on picking one up? Because there's a lot of recipes for the air fryer coming down in the future. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.